Welcome to Yoga Stretch. My name is Katie. Today we're going to focus on increasing our breath energy. And in order to do that, we're going to spend a little bit of time on breathing techniques. Now, breathing is a very important function of the body. Generally, our subconscious controls our breathing. And the reason is that we can live without food and water for several days, but we can't live without oxygen for more than a few minutes. So today we're going to start in a seated position. Now let's lift the rib cage up so we can give our lungs a little bit of space. Relax the shoulders down and just drop your chin slightly. You can close your eyes and focus on your breathing. Now I want you to count as you breathe in, just quietly in your own mind at this pace. Breathe in, two, three. Breathe out, two, three. And continue at that pace for several breaths. Now try to fill up all of your lungs and focus on bringing your breath right down to the belly. As you breathe out, feel the drawing in of your navel. Now I want you to close off your throat halfway, just as if you're, you have a very relaxed throat and you're just about to fall asleep. You get this light snoring breath. So let's try to find that. Closing the throat a little bit off, almost as if there's a smell you don't like. And then let's breathe in to the count of three. Breathe out for three. So that's our Ujjayi breath, and it's a little bit noisier in our ears. So we're going to do that um, throughout our yoga today to slow our breath down in our postures. Now we're going to do a bellows breath. Now this will clear the lungs out. So just placing one hand on the belly, we're going to breathe in and puff the breath out 20 times. Now what you're trying to do is bring the nail, navel in quickly. So quickly drawing it in nice and fast so you can work your waist and get the lungs cleaned out. Let's try that again. Breathe in and again. Puff your breath out 20 times. And then let's pause. You can close your eyes and notice the difference in your body. Can you feel a change? And another thing about energizing the body with the breath is it calms your emotions down and of course it brings energy into your body. You feel much brighter much more energetic and much better. So let's um, start off with standing up now. So bring your feet nice and close, lifting up and bring yourself to a standing position and turn sideways. We're going to do two sun salutes. So we're just going to move through them quite steadily. Hands down by the sides, lifting the rib cage up. I want you to squeeze your buttocks Push the hips forward and tighten your thighs. So you need to press your buttocks together and the hips go forward. You may see a slight movement in mine. I'll do that again. Squeeze the buttocks together, hips go forward and the thighs firm up. So let's lift our rib cage. Lift the shoulders to ears, roll them back and draw them downwards. 
Chin tucked in so the back of the neck is lengthened. And we're looking forwards. Spread your toes out a little. And then let's reach, stretch the fingers out and reach them down to the floor. Feeling your shoulders moving downwards. You can close your eyes or keep them open. Just check the back of your neck is comfortable. Move it around a little bit if you feel any tightness or catching in the back of the neck. Let's take three breaths here. Deep breath in, sun salute, reach up, stretch your arms out, gaze between the palms of your hands and breathe out, forward fold, draw that waist in, bend forward. Breathe in, flat back, lengthen through the spine, and stretch into the backs of your legs and breathing out, chest to thighs, and step your feet back to plank, your right leg and then your left leg. Let's breathe in. And breathe out. See if you can plank to the floor. Elbows hug the sides, tight tummy, lower yourself down, otherwise knees and chest go down one at a time. Flatten the tops of your feet, draw your shoulders towards your hips, press your hips down, lengthen through the arms. High cobra. Tuck toes under, lift the hips into down dog. And just move from side to side, loosening hips and shoulders up. Now let's crouch, bend the knees, look forward between your hands and step your right foot forward, left foot forward and flat back. Breathe out, forward fold and let's take a deep breath in, sun salute. Now breathe out, hands down to chest. Now we're going to bend those knees and step our right foot back just a little way. We've got a warrior three. So I'll move back just a little bit. So lifting the leg up, just hinge it up to whatever height you can manage. If it's just a little bit off the floor, that's perfectly okay. If you could lift your leg up a little bit higher, lift it up to hip height, squeezing your buttocks firmly together. And if you can reach your arms forward in pistol grip, let's keep the chin tucked in, head in line with the arms and reach the arms forward. Let's take three breaths here. Now you can try the U-jar breathing, closing off your throat halfway. Hinge yourself back to standing and bring your arms down to your sides. Beautiful. Let's lift the shoulders up, roll them back and down. Breathe in, lift the arms up and breathe out. Forward bend. Now we're going to just soften the knees. Take the fingers underneath the toes just one at a time. And now bring your chin to your chest if you can. Lift your hips a little bit higher. Now, uh, we'll make sure the weight is evenly through your feet or a little bit forward so you're pressing onto your fingers and encouraging the circulation. Draw your navel up, lift the hips a bit higher, chest towards the thighs, lift up through the arms so you're feeling stretch around the back, through the arms and into the backs of legs. Let's take three breaths here. Now lift one foot up at a time, taking your fingers from underneath your feet and then take your hands on your lower back. Have your knees a bit soft, try not to lock them back. This is a very good stretch for the backs of the legs with soft knees. Pull the tummy up, hands can stay on the lower back or you can reach them up in wide prayer. Otherwise, press the palms together, pistol grip and reach your arms up. Now let's take three breaths here. Try your ujjayi breathing here, closing that throat off halfway. Then lower the hands onto the back, bend the knees, chair pose, reach your arms up, breathe in and reach up to the ceiling as you straighten your legs and breathe out, hands back down to chest in prayer. Deep breath in and out. And we're going to do that again. Take a deep breath in, sun salute. And 
and swan dive forward fold flat back lengthen through that spine and breathe out forward fold step back to plank or try to change legs that you step back with breathe in plank to floor otherwise knees and chest go down flatten the tops of the foot feet breathe in cobra push through heels off hands tuck toes under lift the hips into down dog just adjust your feet okay let's take a little crouch here bend the knees look between the fingers the thumbs and step your left foot then your right foot forward okay flat back lengthen and breathe out forward fold deep breath in lift up to sun salute and breathe out hands down to chest we're going to soften our knees again small chair pose lift your left foot up and step it back not too far away we're going to hinge up into a warrior three draw your waist in start to hinge your leg up draw the shoulders towards hips so you're nice and strong squeezing your buttocks together and you can reach your arms forward in pistol grip chin tucked in lengthen through the back of the neck let's take three breaths here Try your ujjayi breathing, closing that throat off halfway. Hinge your foot down, lifting your arms up. Reach up to the sky and breathe out, hands back down to sides. Breathe in, lift your arms up forwards. Reach up to the ceiling, draw the waist in, lengthen through the spine. Soften the knees as you come down. Beautiful. Now we're going to bend our right knee and lift our left hand up for a twist. Now if you do find that this is a little bit strong to have the hand on the floor, just bring it to your, to your chin. Anywhere you can manage, even on your knee. It's okay. Let's take three breaths here. And changing sides, so taking that um, left hand down, bending the left knee, straightening the right leg, and let's lift the right hand up. Take three breaths here. Keep the breath slow. Then lower your hand down again. And we'll take a deep breath in, sun salute, lift up, and breathe out, hands down to chest. Deep breath in and out. Now turn and face the front, and we're going to move to the right side of our mat. This is a moon salute. So let's lift up nice and tall, squeezing the buttocks, pushing those hips forward, firm waist, firm thighs, stretch those toes out. Lift the shoulders to ears, roll them back and draw them downwards. Reach your fingers to the floor, chin tucked in, nice length in the back of the neck. Let's take a deep breath in, sun salute. Bring your arms into pistol grip, gaze up and then look forward. Breathe out, bend to the side. Breathe in and lift. Breathe out and bend. Breathe in and lift. Press those palms together. Breathe out and bend. Breathe in to lift. And one more time, breathe out to bend. Breathe in to lift. And we're going to step out into a horse stance. Now, squeeze your buttocks, tail slightly under. So bottom of hips forward, knees pushed out. You want the knees behind the toes, so they're lining up with the ankles and hands in a stop sign position. Lift your rib cage up, hug the shoulder and legs together a little at the back, pull the tummy in and try to sit back just a little bit more. Let's take three breaths here. Let's lift up, bring your arms nice and wide, pivot your toes, 
towards the right. Bend your front knee. So you want to line your front knee up with your ankle. Just make sure your legs are wide enough. So if your knee goes in front of your ankle, you need to widen your legs. So if your knee is back, you need to perhaps even narrow your legs. Just find that perfect width for your hips. So chest and hips are facing forward. Turn your gaze over your front middle finger. Now squeeze your buttocks, hips forward, and the knees are a little bit wider to stretch the inner thighs. Let's take three breaths here. Right down to the belly. Let's try that Ujjayi breathing again. Close the throat off halfway. And let's stand up. If your legs are nice and wide, that will be good for triangle. So let's breathe in, reach forward as far as you can and breathe out, windmill your arms into a T position. Now your arms should be just in front of your knee. Now if you reach the floor, that's lovely. Don't try to, unless you naturally go there easily. Because if you lean forward and your hips go back, you won't be getting a side stretch. So you need to squeeze your buttocks together, push the hips forward, work the inner thighs, and reach the top hand to the ceiling. So we've got lovely wide arms and they line up in a T. Now squeezing the buttocks together and the front thigh should rotate a little bit forwards and upwards. So we're nice and active in the inner thigh. Let's take three breaths here. Okay, beautiful. Let's lift up. Lift your hands up. Heel toe your back foot a little closer. Rotate the hips forward. Make sure the hips are nice and straight forward. Adjust those feet if you need to. And let's lower the hands down to the hips. Or you can place your hands behind your back in prayer or hold your wrists or elbows. Okay, so let's breathe in. Lifting up tall through the spine, lift the chin, breathe out, draw the waist in. Coming into the flat back position. So draw your shoulders down, waist draws up. Now you should be getting a nice big stretch in the back of that leg. Let's take three breaths here. Go back to your, your giant breathing if you can. Now release those arms, hands to floor, and come onto your back knee. We've got a crescent uh, position, or uh, rock your hips forward. It is a low lunge, and sweep your arms up. Roll the shoulders back, draw them down, and move your hips forward. So your ankle lines up with your knee, and you're getting a lovely big hip stretch. Lift your chin a little higher if you can. Arms can be back if your shoulders can manage. Otherwise, just picking a position that your arms can manage. Let's try and reach them up to the ceiling so we can get a lovely big stretch. Breathe into the belly. Go back to your Ujjayi breathing, closing the throat off halfway. So your breathing will be just that little bit noisier. Now lower the hands down, just inside your leg, and then we're going to pivot the front foot onto a diagonal, and then lift the back foot up and come into an inner thigh stretch. Now, it's okay wherever you put this foot, you can put it in different positions. Whatever gives you the best inner thigh stretch is the best position. You can flatten your foot down to the floor also. So once you've found something that works for you, let's take three breaths here. Okay, let's take the hands back on the floor and walk the hands to the center. Toe heel your feet a little closer in so that in a squat position, so heels line up with the outer edge of the hip and then bring the hands to chest in prayer. Lift the ribcage up nice and tall, pull the tummy in, and let the bottom of the hips drop forward. 
So the lower back should stay nice and comfortable. Elbows inside, knees, and just push the knees apart just a little more. Let's take several breaths here. Go back to your jaya breathing. If you find that uncomfortable, just count to three in your mind as you breathe in and breathe out. Place your hands back on the floor. We're going to heel toe our feet a bit wider again and then come into an inner thigh stretch on the other side. Try to pick the same position as you did last time so you can stretch your body evenly. So finding that stretch, working that inner thigh and let's take three breaths here. Now walk your hands around to the opposite side of the mat, place the knee down and we've got a low lunge wide prayer, roll the shoulders back and down, reaching the arms up, stretch your fingers out, make sure you stretch them as much as you can, focusing on the breathing down to the belly. hands down. We're going to tuck the back toes under, lift our, leg, our hips up. Now bring your back foot a bit closer. We're going back into the head to knee pose. So let's bring the arms behind the back and put them in the same position as before. Draw the tummy in, lengthen through the front leg but keep the knee soft. Lengthen through the spine by drawing shoulders away from ears, pulling the tummy up and squeezing your buttocks together. So just looking diagonally down and let's take three big breaths. Choosing your jaya breath or the counted breath. Those arms up over the head, turn the hips and chest sideways and toe heel your back foot just a little bit further apart. We have the triangle. So squeeze your buttocks, hips forward, inner thighs working. So you should feel your knees kind of widen and your hips start to work. You gaze over your front middle finger, breathe in, reach the arm forward, push the hip back, reach and reach again, and triangle into position. Looking for that stretch on the top side of the body and the hip. Keep the buttocks squeezed together and especially the front buttocks. Let's rotate that thigh a little bit outwards. That's it, beautiful. Let's take three big breaths here. Just remembering your breath is the most important thing that you're doing in your yoga. So pay attention. Okay, let's windmill those arms up, bending your front knee, coming into warrior two. Shoulders are down, tummy in, squish your buttocks, hips come forward, knees widened. Turn your gaze over your front middle finger. Let's take three big breaths. And now looking forward, we're going to pivot our front foot and step those feet a little bit closer together. 
coming back into the horse stance. Tummy in, push the hips back, shoulders are down, ribcage lifted. Take three breaths here. And now we're going to step the foot next to the front foot, pistol grip, reaching up, breathe in, squeeze your buttocks together, breathe out, bend to the side, breathe in to lift, breathe out to bend, breathe in to lift, out to bend, and let's finish with one more. And then bring your hands down to your chest, Deep breath in and out. Now let's do that again. Deep breath in, sun salute, pistol grip, gaze up, then looking forward. Breathe out, bend to the side, squeezing the buttocks together, Breathe in to lift, press palms together. Breathe out to bend. Breathe in to lift. Breathe out to bend. And let's do that one more time. Are you ready for the horse stance? Bend your knees, step out, horse stance. Draw your waist in, push your hips back. Widen your knees. Shoulders are down, ribcage lifted, tummy in. Take three breaths here. Then lifting up, reach your arms out, pivot your feet to face the left, bend the front knee. Squeezing your buttocks, pushing your hips forward so your hips and chest are facing sideways. It, knees are wide. Turn your gaze over your front middle finger. Take three breaths here. Now straighten your front leg. We have a triangle. Breathe in, reach forward, push your hips back. Feel that inner thigh stretch as you reach. Let's do it again. Reach and then windmill the arms into position. Squeeze your buttocks together, tummy in, draw the shoulders towards the hips. And just try and bring that top arm back a little so we can open into the chest. Take three big breaths right down to the belly and feel the top side of the body and the hip stretching. sideways and heel toe your back foot a little closer so you can rotate those hips forward. Place down your hands down on the hips or bring your hands back to prayer or the arms behind the back and then change the cross of the elbow hold. Draw the shoulders down, tummy in, squeeze the buttocks together, lift your chin, breathe in and breathe out, bending forward. Keep your front knees soft. This time you can pull your navel in Round your back out and bring your head to your knee. So bring your chin towards your chest so you can lengthen into the back of the neck. Take three big breaths into your back. Now release your arms, place the hands on the floor, bend the back knee and bring your foot back a little bit. Move your hips forward and you can swing your arms back and lift them up. Roll the shoulders back and down. Nice stretchy arms. Lining the knee up with the ankle. Lift the chin slightly. Breathe down to the belly. Fill your lungs up as much as you can. Breathe in. 
reach up and bring your hands down to the floor, pivot your foot to 45 degrees, and let's come back into that hip stretch again, or the inner thigh stretch, and also the hips. Okay, let's bring ourselves a little deeper into it, or whichever position that you get most out of it. So find which one works for you, and let's take three breaths here. Let's walk the hands to the center, heel toe the feet just a little bit closer together, two times should do it, and then lower the hips down. Hands to chest in prayer, let's lift the rib cage up, tummy in, tail between the legs. Elbows between knees, beautiful. And let's pause here for three big breaths. Now try your Ujjayi breathing, closing that throat off just halfway. And then lower your hands down and we're going to extend the leg, uh, finding that stretch in the inner thigh again, just the inside of that extended leg. Find the best position for you to get that stretch. And let's take three breaths here. Lower that front knee down to the floor. Lower the back knee down. Oops, no, lift the front foot up. Swing the arms back and lift up high lunge or low lunge, wide prayer or crescent. Breathe into the belly. Open your rib cage right up for your breath. Fill up your lungs as much as you can. And breathe in, place the hands down, tuck the back toes under it, lift the knee. Head to knee pose again. So you want to make sure the hips are square. Press the buttocks together, lift the hands up and see if you can hold your elbows or your wrists or hands in prayer. And then head to knee. Your jaw breath is quite good for this position. your buttocks together, tighten your tummy, look forward and hinge back up to a standing position, lift your arms up over your head, open your chest and your hips. Toe heel your foot a little bit further away, ready for triangle. So we're going to put, reach forward, push the hip back, keep reaching, reach again, reach and windmill into a triangle. Squeeze the buttocks together, tummy in, shoulders head towards hips, and make sure your thigh is rotating forwards and upwards, keeping your foot on the floor. Another deep breath in. Then windmill up into warrior two, bend the front knee, widen your legs if you need to, palms face down. Squeeze your buttocks together, shoulders are down, rib cage lifted, inner thighs working as the knees draw outwards. Turn your gaze over your front middle finger. Let's take a deep breath in here, right down to the belly, expand your rib cage out. Bring your arms to a stop sign position, pivot the other heel in. It's a little bit far away. Just make sure your ankles and knees are lined up. 
horse stance, tummy tight, push your hips back, and knees in line with ankles, lift your rib cage so you need to be looking forwards. Take three breaths. Breathe in, lift up, come into pistol grip, reaching up nice and high, lengthen through the arms, chin drops down, squeeze the buttocks together, breathe in, breathe out, bend to the side, breathe in to lift, breathe out to bend, breathe in to lift, breathe out to bend, breathe in to lift, and one more time, breathe out to bend. And then lower the hands down and bring your hands back to your chest in prayer. Deep breath in and out. All right, let's step into the center of the mat and we've got a tree pose balance. So just place your hands on your hips. You can give yourselves a little shake. That's it, lovely. Feet comfortably apart, and let's roll right foot forward, bring the knee out to the side. Squeeze your buttocks together, tail between the legs, or hips slightly forward, tummy firm, inner thighs working. Lift your foot up to your calf. You can keep toes on the floor, or level two foot to calf. Level three, you can lift your foot up a little bit higher. And then let's take a breath in. Bring the arms up over our head. If you can, link your fingers, turn your palms inside out and reach up. Reach up as high as you can, but draw your shoulders down. Waist draws in. Take three breaths here. Now float your hands back down to chest in prayer. Then bring your knee forward, a little kick forward, and float the foot down. Lower your hands down. Take a walk with your feet. Let's do that on the other side now. Hands on hips. Roll your left foot forward, tighten the waist. Knee out to side, tail under. Squeeze your buttocks together. Inner thigh, stretching. Toes on floor, level one. Level two, foot to calf. Level three, bring that heel a little higher. Press it into the thigh and take a deep breath in. Hands above the head, just wide prayer or link your fingers, palms up or reach them to the ceiling, nice and high and lower your shoulders down. Keep the navel drawn in. Take three breaths here. Now lower your hands down, bring them back to your chest in prayer. Then knee forward, little kick forward, flat your foot down, lower your hands down. Let's take a little walk. Now we're going to turn around sideways and start with a sun salute. Take a deep breath in, sun salute. And swan dive, forward fold, flat back, lengthen through the spine, breathe out, forward fold, step back to plank, then breathe in, plank to floor, and bring your arms by your sides for locust. Press your hips down, squeeze your buttocks together and lift the tummy. Now lift your legs, lift your chest, Lift your arms and reach your fingers down to your toes. Point your toes, look forward or tuck your chin in, lengthen through the back of the neck and let's take three big breaths. Lower yourself down and let's bring the hands under the chest, cobra, Coming into a child's pose, so toes together, knees wide, extend your arms forward, 
Lower your elbows down if you need to. Then slide your shoulders towards your hips. Lift your waist up and sit on your heels. Breathe into your back. Try to breathe in between the shoulder blades, into the mid back, and right down into the lower back. Now take a walk with your hands towards your knees, pull your tummy in, round your back out, stack your spine from the lower spine up to the mid spine, then right up to the base of the neck. Lift up onto your knees for camel. So let's take the hands into fists and just bring them above the lower back. Squeeze your buttocks together, push the hips forward, lengthen through the spine, draw the elbows in towards each other and lower the shoulders down right away from the ears. Squeeze your buttocks, hips go forward. Do try to stay out of the lower back. Breathe into the belly, pick your head position, chin to chest, gaze diagonally up or lower the head back for neck stretch. Three big breaths into the belly. And you can tuck your toes under or just leave your feet flat, come into a full camel, hugging shoulder blades together, squeezing the buttocks a little firmer, and let's stay here for three breaths. Walking the hands up the backs of your legs, come into child's pose with your arms by your sides this time. Relax the shoulders towards the floor. Pull the tummy up. Take three big breaths into your back. Take your palms onto your heels. Pull your tummy up, lift your head. Tuck the chin in and place the crown of the head on the floor. Lift your hips a bit higher and just move your head to the position where it's comfortable and the back of the neck is lengthened. Feel a stretch between the shoulder blades in your tortoise pose. Three big breaths into the back. Now let's take a seat, stack the fists and rest the head on top. Now let yourself into a seated position. So we're going to extend our left leg and bring the right foot to the thigh. Try to line your um, leg up with the center of your body. Lift the hips up, tummy in, lean forward a little so we can get some length through the spine. Now just as a little um, flexibility exercise, we're going to lift the foot up and tap the forehead. Place the foot down again. Lift up nice and tall. Let's take a deep breath in. Reach up, palms forward. Breathe out. Draw the navel in. Lengthen through the spine and just let the hands rest down wherever it's comfortable. You want the shoulders right away from the ears. If you can hold your feet with your elbows bent and shoulders away from ears, do that or wrap your hands around your leg. If you're a very flexible person, try not to let the back of the knee drop to the floor. Put something under it to keep it slightly lifted and give your joints support. So tummy tucked in, chin to chest, lengthen through the back of the neck. And let's take three big breaths here. Now try your Ujjayi breathing again, closing your throat off. Now we're going to take the left arm inside the left knee. Rotate the rib cage to the side. Lift the hand up, lift the right hand up and bend to the side. So we want that stretch around the side of the body and the hip. You can bend your elbow, draw shoulders away from ears, just to keep the shoulders a little bit more comfortable. And if you can keep that side stretch and reach your big toe, 
then let's do that. Otherwise, if you're losing the side stretch, bring that elbow, the chest open again, and don't worry about holding your toe. Let's take three breaths here into the side of the body. And let's lift up. I'm going to take this foot, place it over the leg. And let's take a deep breath in, lift the arms up. We've got a twist, draw the waist in, rotate through the ribcage, elbow inside the knee, the other hand behind the back on the floor. Lift the ribcage up tall. You can take the front hand down to the floor if you prefer, or downwards, or even uh, bring it to your shin. If you can come into a bind, feel free to do that. The other arm behind the back. And let's take three big breaths here. And then release. Beautiful. Let's go to the other side, foot to thigh. Lift up the ribcage nice and tall. And now with our toe, we're just going to tap it to our forehead. That's it. Bring it down. Sit tall. And now let's take a deep breath in. Reach the arms up, palms forward. Breathe out. Lower those hands down. And again, find the position where the shoulders are away from the ears. As soon as they're lifting up, we're taking away from the stretch in the back of the legs. So just nice comfy position wherever you can reach. Elbows bent, chin to chest. Breathe into your back and down to your belly. Now walk the hands back to your hips and then take your right arm inside the knee if you can, otherwise just rest it on the knee. Rotate your ribcage to the side, lift your arm up and over. Finding that stretch in the side of the body, chin tucked in, lengthen through the back of the neck. And if you can hold the big toe, it's a bonus, but not essential. Okay, let's take three big breaths here. Side your knee, lift up nice and tall. Breathe in, reaching the arms up, breathe out, draw the waist in, elbow inside the knee, the other hand on the floor. And if you can, holding the leg, other arm behind the back. Or come into the bind. Take three big breaths here. And then release. That's it, beautiful. Bring yourself into a side seated position. Have your feet a little wider and just rest your body forward. Now we're going to roll down to the floor. So pull the waist in, rolling down. And bring the knees to the chest, just one at a time. Lift your hips up a little and place them down. Link the fingers, tip chin tucked in. <clears throat> and let's rock from side to side, just two or three times on that lap egg. <clears throat> Lifting your legs up, rug pose, tighten your tummy, hold the backs of legs if you need to. Make sure the lower back stays comfortable at all times. You can also just have your arms by your sides or join me in a shoulder stand. Lifting the hips up, taking the hands behind the back, thumbs around the waist and resting on your shoulder blades. Now keep your uh, chest wide so don't let the shoulders roll inwards. Widen them out so you flatten on your shoulder blades. Now take three breaths here.
if you can, bring your legs over your head to plow pose. You can also bring your hands over your head and hold your big toes. And if you can, bring your knees down next to your ears into dead man pose. And then start to roll out of your dead man pose. You can keep arms overhead or place them by your sides. Rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Lifting the legs back up to the ceiling. Now from here, you can just lower your legs to the floor very carefully or bend your knees. Bring your hands down to sides. Place your feet down. Now extend your legs just one at a time. We've got a fish pose. So lift one hip and take one hand underneath, palm facing down. Rock to the other side and place the hands under the hips. Now you can just stay here in fish pose or you can walk your elbows underneath your back. So that's going to open up your chest. If you can, go to level three, press the elbows in the floor. Hook those shoulder blades together. Lower the head down and just pause here. If you wish to go into a higher option, please do that. Breathe into your belly, three big breaths. Press the elbows firmly down, flatten your back down, walk your feet to the end position and take your hands from under your hips. Now from here we're going to bring our feet a little bit wider and drop the knees together or bring your feet together and knees wide in a butterfly pose. Press the elbows in the floor, lift the shoulder blades up, hug them together, flatten them down. Lift, bring your arms, your hand, one hand Left hand on the heart centre, right hand on the belly. Lift your head up, tuck the chin in, lengthen through the back of the neck, and let's stay here for several breaths. When you're ready, extend your legs. Roll your feet outwards, roll your thighs outwards, and you can bring your arms down by your sides, palms facing up. Try to maintain an open chest and shoulder blades flat on the floor. Now let's take three breaths down to the belly. Expand your belly out with each breath in. position, you may want to try an alternate nostril breathing exercise. So you can bring the index finger and the middle finger just on to the centre of your brow, just between your eyebrows. Take your thumb onto your nostril, so your right hand, your thumb onto your nostril and your two little fingers, the ring finger and the little finger onto your left nostril. Just resting them lightly. And now press the right nostril with your thumb. Breathe into your left nostril. And breathe out. Change sides. Breathe in to your right nostril. And breathe out. That's round one. Let's try two more rounds. Left nostril, right nostril, one time each, one more time each nostril, Bring your hand out by your side. 
let's just pause and notice the effects on our body. You can stay in your relaxation 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Just turn off your video and pause and continue your relaxation. Then switch your video back on and finish with me. Otherwise, finish with me now. Moving the fingers and toes, bringing the breath right down to the belly. And walking your feet to the end position, rolling to your side, resting your head on your arms. Lifting up into a seated position, resting hands on knees or in the lap. Lifting your ribcage up just gently, chin slightly dropped down. And let's take a deep breath in, reaching the arms above the head in prayer and breathe out, lower the thumbs to heart center. Breathe into your belly, bring the breath up to your rib cage, right into the shoulders, into the back and breathe out. Breathe into your belly, rib cage, Shoulders and back and breathe out. Take one more deep yoga breath at your own pace. Okay, beautiful. And have a peaceful heart, peaceful mind and a wonderful day. Namaste. If you enjoyed this video, please press like and make a comment. Subscribe to my channel and get regular updates. Join me again.